everyone, welcome back to my channel and as you can see my makeup's already done. I just finished reviewing this product, the Irene Skin Vaporizer which is so cool. If you guys like are wondering is this a flask, is this like a tool, what is it, stay tuned and you'll find out. But basically I'll be talking all things about Irene Skin Vaporizer as well as their custom serums for the busy and time saving woman. So just stick around if you want to see my demonstration and my in-depth review. Okay so just to start off with I'm going to be using the Irene serums that they sent me. I have a hydrating one in this blue bottle. It's called the hydrating serum. This one is called the whitening serum. This one is called the anti-acne serum. So they all come in this really nice cute glass bottle and you twist up the cap and it's kind of like a dropper in which that you can open it up and the serum basically comes out in this dropper like tube which is really really simple and easy to use. I'm going to use these serums as my skin prep. Before that I'm going to be using this skin clearing liquid. It's sort of like a before your serum kind of application. I'm going to be using the anti-acne serum first. So these serums can be lit upon one another so they are layerable and they're super fast absorbing and very thin a texture so that's what I like about it. I use the anti-acne one first and I let that sink in and then I go over the other two serums depending on my mood. Then I go in with the hydrating serum for today in the same type of bottle. Alright, so from Irene as well, they have this skin vaporizing device. It looks like this. So it's basically like this really hefty skin device which is supposed to be a skin vaporizer that turns a lot of your liquids into like almost aerosol particles. So you'd remove the cap and you basically, once you've charged the device, you press down on this button. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that sound but that's basically kind of the motor generating enough power so that it comes out in an aerosol form. I have nothing in the device so far but I'm going to be putting in my foundation. So basically how you remove this opening for the device to store the liquids is to just lift up the cap and inside you can see a cartridge. Basically when you want to fill the liquid you just lift up this cap here like a small little seal and you pour the liquids through this hole. You can actually remove this cartridge to wash it. So you can remove it and just wash this out to keep it very hygienic. But for the purpose of filling it up, you just leave it in, you open up the hole and you fill it up here. Okay, with this device, they also give you a mixing kit. This is just an empty container which you can unscrew and it gives you a dropper like bottle to fill up the cartridge. You can remove this nozzle and you can fill up the bottle with your custom serum plus foundation kind of concoction. For me today, I'm going to be using a face oil from Shantakai. It's the Rose de Mai oil. I'm going to put about 3 to 4 drops of oil into the bottle as well as the Bobbi Brown foundation. So I'm just going to squirt some foundation in. Okay, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more of the serums into this. I believe it will combine well with the foundation as well. A bit more foundation. I'm going to load up the foundation into the cartridge. Okay, so basically I have a little bit of the product into this cartridge and I'm going to try to spray onto my face. Hoping that the kind of aerosol provides a very even canvas all around my face. that there is some sort of foundation sitting on my skin and this side completely nothing you can see my blemishes and my freckles and my moles and everything are showing on this side and here it's kind of like the foundation is sitting very nicely but yeah I'm gonna try adding coverage here because I think I missed a spot see there's definitely product coming out and the blast is really really strong and I think it's just such an amazing product. Alright, so I'm just going to finish up on this side. I can see there's a distinct difference on the right side. This is with the vaporizer and this is without. So I'm just going to finish up. And 
this is on the left side with a super fresh application of the product and as you can see after it sets down it looks really natural it looks just like you know applying a very natural coating of foundation and I believe the mixture of incorporating serums into the foundation make it look a lot more natural and very lightweight which I like but as you can see here it looks really glossy it looks really well hydrated I'm just gonna let both sides set finish up my makeup and I'll get back to you on my final thoughts Alright, and I did something really really simple with my makeup just basically to highlight the really nice skin. I didn't put any sort of highlighters, I just have a very nice foundation mixture so I don't want to ruin all the serums and I find that this gives me a really really healthy and radiant glow and I really love, love how my skin looks. It's so natural and it's well covered. I did a bit of concealing under my eyes, pinpoint concealing and that's about it but generally I didn't use any sort of applicator tools. I even went in with my fingers for blush and on my eyes I just basically use my fingers as well. So it's just super easy for the busy woman. I think that practically if you're going to be using this every day, it is a bit of a hassle in terms of if you want to change up your foundation serums or your concoctions every day you do have to wash out the equipment and everything like that but I generally think this does save a lot of time in the morning for the everyday person but who I think this device would really benefit the most would be makeup artists because you do have a lot of tools you do have a lot of basically a lot of brushes to wash and you don't have that kind of time when you're back to back with a lot of clients so basically this moto I think when I mentioned the motto, it's kind of like the contraption inside really helps to boost what comes out and it's just super fine and it's very very much like how you apply your liquid foundation which is the key point it isn't gonna look any different from you know basically if you were to do it with a, a damp sponge or a foundation brush so I believe the application of this device is so accurate to how it would be if you just use a tool so yeah I highly recommend you guys check it out check out the description box for my in-depth thoughts and also a very detailed review on the product where you can buy it how much it costs and everything like that so so yeah, enough rambling and if you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!